Hello, my dear students. We will continue with our last chapter, that is deep water, and let us recapitulate quickly what we have learned till now. We have seen William Douglas in his autobiographical note says that at the age of ten or eleven he had joined YMCA pool to learn swimming, and we know that he is extremely passionate about swimming. Therefore. Forgetting the incident of California Beach, he joined YMCA pool and he found conducive environment out there because there was instructor. The pool was very safe and uh, other students were also there so that he can copy them and learn swimming. Till now we have uh, seen this much. Let us move ahead. My introduction to the YMCA swimming pool revived unpleasant memories and stirred childish fears but in a little while i gathered confidence i paddled with my new water wings watching the other boys and trying to learn by aping them i did this two or three times on different days and was just beginning to feel at ease in the water when the misadventure happened students the ymca pool revived unpleasant memories of Douglas childhood and we know what was the incident it talks about California Beach incident okay so remember that but he was determined to learn swimming he was passionate about this particular sport therefore what he did he made up his mind that anyhow he is going to learn swimming he took the help of his swimming equipments water wings and then he started swimming in the water for that he kept a keen observation upon others how they are using their hands how they are using their legs okay so imitating them copying them he started learning gradually and uh, day by day he gathered confidence and he was becoming bit comfortable in water by this time the proverb practice makes man perfect he proves to be true. By doing all this thing, he was becoming bit comfortable in YMCA pool. But he had to face a miss happening because of a boy. What was that? Let us find out. I went to the pool when no one else was there. The place was quiet. The water was still and the tiled bottom was as white as clean as a bathtub. I was timid about going in alone, so I sat on the side of the pool to wait for others. I had not been there long when in came a big brisher of a boy, probably 18 years old. He had thick hair on his chest. He was a beautiful specimen with legs and arms that showed rippling muscles. He yelled, high skinny. How would you like to be ducked? Here we see, on the faithful day when Douglas reached the pool, nobody had arrived. Maybe he was uh, very much enthusiastic for this. Therefore, he had gone a bit early or others were late. All right? So, here we find Douglas all alone and he was feeling very timid. He was very scared to go into the water all alone because till now he had not become very expert. He needed others guidance to learn swimming and we have already discussed that he was learning by aping others, by copying others. Therefore he was waiting for others to start his swimming class. But here child bully occurs. The big brisher of a boy who toasted little Douglas into the pool had a, you know, hairy chest and rippling muscles. He was well built. He had very impressive physique, okay, compared to Douglas. We know that he was very skinny. Physically, he was very, it seems he was very weak. And another boy who was uh, immoral, okay, who was, who tried to intimidate uh, Douglas he had impressive physique this inconsiderate and irresponsible boy foolishly threw Douglas into the pool just for fun okay just to have a morbid fun so he had taken him and he 
threw him into the water students when we see around us we will find in the name of ragging such kind of tragic incidents abuse are going on it is just to torture the people who are weaker to them all right we should not show our power to uh, the one who is physically feeble all right so here another thing we need to notice is that these kind of things happens because of in uh, because of lack of sympathy because of lack of compassion okay because of lack of empathy as well so it is parents duty to instill all these qualities in their child to be uh, you know compassionate with others to understand their problem to help others this boy uh, he was also alone in pool okay douglas was only there and douglas was very much interested in swimming i told you so he could have helped him isn't it he could have helped him and both of them would have benefited but this is because of lack of uh, values this had happened let's move further with that he picked me up and tossed me into the deep end i landed in a sitting position swallowed water and went at once to the bottom i was frightened but not yet frightened out of my wits on the way down i planned when i when my feet hit the bottom i would make a big jump come to the surface lie flat on it and paddle to the edge of the pool here on being forcibly pushed into water douglas retained his wits he focused his mind on the solution rather than on the problem he tried to work out a strategy to save himself and concentrated on it this helped him not to be defeated by the sensation of terror and students this is not only case with uh, douglas we also sometimes uh find very you know unconducive situations around us at that time we need to find out what is the core of the problem okay then if we will start working on it then our problem will be solved sometimes we will have lots of tensions but we need to find out for what reason we are full of tensions what for what reason we are very tensed and then whoever can solve it we can take help of them if we ourselves are not able to solve them Okay. It seemed a long way down. Those nine feet were more like ninety, and before I touched bottom, my lungs were ready to burst. But when my feet hit bottom, I summoned all my strength and made what I thought was a great spring upwards. I imagined I would bob to the surface like a cork. students he had already made this strategy to come out of the water but when he was going deep into the water he realized that just 9 feet okay of the pool it seemed it is 90 it means gradually he was going down okay and it is because he was new in this okay he was learning swimming it had become 90 for him that means A small problem tiny problem had become a big problem for him right now because it was first time but he did not lose hope even though uh, you know he was in that condition where his uh, he could not breathe properly his lungs started bursting out but he gathered his strength and he he thought after reaching to the bottom he will hit the floor with his feet and he will bounce at the surface of the water and then he will be saved he will he thought that he will uh, he will come to the surface just like a cork okay you must have seen cork okay which cannot get drawn into the water because it is made up of wood okay so he thought that just like a cork he will uh, be there on the surface and he will be saved instead i came up slowly i opened my eyes and saw nothing but water water that had a dirty yellow tinge to it i grew panicky i reached up as if to grab a rope and my hands clutched only at water i was suffocating i tried to yell but no sound came out then my eyes and nose came out of the water but not my mouth i flailed 
at the surface of the water, swallowed and choked. I tried to bring my legs up, but they hung as dead weights, paralyzed and rigid. A great force was pulling me under. I screamed, but only the water heard me. I had started on the way. I had started on the long journey back to the bottom of the pool. Students, his plan to come at the surface by bouncing failed. He came up gradually. Okay, gradually he was coming up, but still he was inside the water. Now, when he opened his eyes, he could see yellow colored water. Now, the color of water is mentioned yellow. It is because in the swimming pool, chlorine tablets are uh, mixed. Okay, and which turns blue water into yellowish one. So that is what he got to see. Now he became panicky because he, his plan failed. Now he want he when he was coming up, he wanted to grab something, rope, and other lifelines, but he failed. He was suffocating now because our body requires oxygen, and he was inside the water, uh, and the lack of oxygen stopped him from breathing. He tried to cry for help, but he could not because he was still under water. He, he was not able to breathe, so how he can cry for help? And by this time, he had come to the surface. He failed. Now, his, his uh, you know, arms, his legs had become without control. Alright, he swallowed water and it was choking. He could not breathe. He tried to bring, you know, strength into his body, but it had become just like dead organs he could not move his own body with a great force again he was going down this happens with a newcomer okay new learner those who are not able to control their body in swimming the first and foremost thing is to understand is that they have to breathe in such a way so that their body weight will be very light so he had not been taught yet therefore this problem had cropped up Again, he was moving towards the bottom of the water. I struck at the water as I went down, expending my strength as one in a nightmare fights an irresistible force. I had lost all my breath. My lungs ached. My head throbbed. I was getting dizzy, but I remembered the strategy. I would spring up the bottom of the pool and come like a cork to the surface. I would lie flat on the water, strike out with my arms and thrash with my legs. Then I would get to the edge of the pool and be safe. Students, again he starts going downwards and during downwards journey for the it was for the second time and it was very nightmarish experience. It was very scary experience with legs almost paralyzed, aching lungs and throbbing head. Now Douglas started suffocating. A relentless power of water absolutely terrorized him. Yet he managed to remember to jump with all his might towards the surface of the pool. I went down, down endlessly. I opened my eyes, nothing but water with a yellow glow dark water that one could not see through and then sheer stark terror seized me terror that knows no understanding terror that knows no control terror that no one can understand who has not experienced it i was shrieking underwater i was paralyzed underwater stiff rigid with fear even the scream in my throat were frozen. Only my heart and the pounding in my head said that I was still alive. Now again narrator started moving towards the bottom of the swimming pool. And he, when his eyes he could see water and water only. Okay, After some time he was losing his senses. And he was gripped by, he was enveloped by terror. Terror that was very you know intense at that point of time terror which knows no understanding terror that has no control okay here terror has been personified because controlling understanding these are human traits which are 
given to which is given to uh, terra which is inanimate it is a feeling emotion okay so this was the condition of narrator and he wanted to cry he wanted to shout but it had happened just under water now he was becoming paralyzed he had become stiff rigid and full of fear he wanted to scream but his uh, words got frozen now only his uh, heart beat and pounding of his head showed that he was alive there was no physical movement and then in the midst of the terror came a touch of reason i must remember to jump when i hit the bottom at last i felt the tiles under me my toes reached out as if to grab them i jumped with everything i had but the jump made no difference the water was still around me i looked for ropes ladders water wings nothing but water a mass of yellow water held me stark terror took an even deeper hold on me like a great charge of electricity i shook and trembled with fright my arms wouldn't move my legs wouldn't move i tried to call for help to call my mother nothing happened and then strangely there was light i was coming out of the awful yellow water at least my eyes were my nose was almost out too when he was losing his consciousness and uh, he started becoming paralyzed and uh, then he realized that he had made a strategy to come out of the swimming pool he remembered that once he reaches the bottom of the swimming pool he has to kick it so that he can jump up like a uh, spring isn't it so he was planning to do that and he thought that after coming to the surface he will look for rope ladder and uh, water wings anything he could uh, catch hold of by this time he was totally in the grip of terror the grip was so strong he compares it with electricity you must have seen the power of electricity when it touches the human being all right it does not leave that particular person unless and until it takes the life of it yes or no the same was the condition of douglas here it, the grip was so intense that he could not get rid of it and he tried to move his arms but arms legs and uh, you know somehow he tried to swim but nothing helped he could not uh, you know move his hands and legs only his heart and head showed that he was alive here douglas after reaching to the bottom of the swimming pool he tried again he jumped with all the force at his command expecting expecting to be pushed out to the surface but to his great disappointment rather than bouncing out speedily he came up slowly and all his efforts to rescue himself proved to be futile and students it is known to everyone that whenever we are in trouble we think about our mother because mother even if they are not available around us their blessings are always there with us and we know that she is the one who cares more compared to anyone else let's move ahead now then i started down a third time i sucked for air and got water the yellowish light was going out then all effort ceased i relaxed even my legs felt limp and a blackness swept over my brain it wiped out fear it wiped out terror there was no more panic it was quiet and peaceful nothing to be afraid of this is nice to be students till now william douglas tried wholeheartedly to save himself he said the strategy also he wanted to follow also first time second time as well but third time he could not third time he had given up his body also could not uh, give support to his plans okay now at last he gave up and it was very quiet and
peaceful how it had become peaceful i will give, i'll explain it with example imagine that you are preparing for competitive examination now if you have to get through what you will do you will make a planning you will make a routine yes or no so at that particular time which you have made for yourself you have to study yes or no so in your mind there will be you know it will keep on clicking that at that point of time you have to study so when you study there will be another problem that you have to remember it right so the problem will be problem will of course be there okay because you have to give time and every time you have to give uh, attention to yourself and to your family members as well but if you don't do all this thing what will happen you can enjoy your life you can go for movie you can go for hanging out with your friends yes or no you can do whatever you like but because you have set a goal for you you are preparing for that it had become panicky but remember there is no gain without pain he if he would have continued okay if his body would have favored then he would have continued uh working hard to save himself but he, his body denied that is why he had given up so this is what we need to remember as human being never to give up drowsy to go to sleep no need to jump too tired to jump it is nice to be carried gently to float along in space tender arms around me tender arms like mothers now i must go to sleep here the narrator had surrendered to terror he had tried several times remember it without trying he did not give up he tried for several times and then he had given up now he was feeling very peaceful because there was no strategies to be followed there is no need to save himself because he had already done that now he was considering that the comfort the peaceful situation that he was experiencing with the arms of mother and we know that we can get comfort in our mother's arms who cares who always thinks about our betterment okay so that is why he compares it with mother students in our next video we will see whether the narrator was saved or he had lost his life in this tragic incident thank you all for watching